what's up z squad welcome back to my channel guys y'all today i'm doing another q a i was like let's do another q a it is day one of vlogmas so happy vlogmas day one um of course you guys are going to get a vlog today that'll be up shortly but first i'm going to go ahead and give you guys a q a I asked all my beauties on Facebook for some questions to answer for Q&A and they sure left some good ones so let's get right into it. Also if you don't follow me on Instagram I did ask my Instagram beauties too so you might want to go over there and follow me on Instagram at simply underscore Zoe underscore 22 and on Facebook join my group Black Girl Magic of YouTube because that's where I ask the questions. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit subscribe button down below and share 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 everywhere and let's get right into it. Okay, so the first place I'm going to get the questions from is actually from a group called The Room of YouTube 2. And that is another group that I love and they are awesome over there. So I'm going to go ahead and answer their questions first. And then I'm going to move over to Black Girl Magic of YouTube. I will be putting their social handles if they left them on the screen somewhere. So make sure you go check them out. The first person who asked a bunch of questions was Og Bree Bree, which I absolutely love her. I don't know her, um, it's Og or OG, but it's OG Bree Bree, OG Bree Bree. And she asked, does ketchup go in the fridge or the cabinet? The refrigerator. She also asked, you have 30 minutes and $25,000. What store are you going to? I would go to Best Buy because they've got laptops, cameras, phones tablets anything and everything so that's why I would go spend my $25,000 and you can get that stuff in 30 minutes how would you describe the color blue to a blind person I would say think of just a nice relaxing okay think of the relaxing feel of water and then picture something that or I should say picture that is a blind but think of something that is just super like cooling and refreshing and that's what that's how I would describe it it's very hard to think of that but I think that's how I would go about describing the color blue so shout out to you girl thank you for all those questions the next one was from my girl Charlotte Janice hey girl and her question was does, to the, does the toilet paper go on the roll over or under I believe it should go over here we go so the first question comes from Edna hey girl and her question is, where is the farthest place you've ever traveled? And you guys can find her at Edna Bug. Um, the farthest place I've ever traveled from home um, would probably be either West Virginia or DC. I want to say it was DC, so the DMV area. Or West Virginia is the farthest and I've gone like into the tip of Florida as well which I live in Georgia if you guys didn't know so you can do the distance um, my girl Christine from keeping up with Christine said who's your favorite person on the rap game name one so I'm guessing she means just in general like out of all the seasons so I'm gonna answer this two ways for this season my favorite my favorite person on the rap game I love Jordan I really really love Jordan I love his vibe his personality so I say Jordan but Bree is like oh my god but it just in general if I had to pick one person I would pick Nova to me Nova was just amazing in all ways he's a great rapper he's a great person to me he's just an altogether amazing package all right, Missy the B Diva coming in here. She said, if you had to listen to one album for the rest of your life, what would it be? And it would be Bruno Mars, 24 Karat Magic. That album, like I know every song to heart. Like that is my ish right there. Um, all right, time for Bianca's questions. <laughs> Bianca's first question is, when you started YouTube, did you think you would meet so many people? Um, I did not. Uh, I have met a lot of people 
one YouTube from starting my own group but also like the real one of YouTube was really a starting place for that and there's so many amazing creators on YouTube that you wouldn't find unless you were in a group of this nature so I definitely did not think that going over to another question she sent to me on Instagram okay they're just trying to say what do you think your future husband and children might be like um that's kind of hard but I just think that as a unit they will be a loving and caring loyal grouping I feel like the children will be mini me's one for each and um I think characteristics is just the easiest. Just being loyal and honest and caring, family oriented, that's what I would say. If you could pick a famous family, what would you want your family to look like? Okay, so if I could pick a famous family, I would pick, oh that's hard. It's between two families really. The Obamas and then Jay-Z and um, Beyonce, so the Carters. But if I had to pick one, I would pick... Oh, this is really hard. The only reason I'm kind of leaning towards Beyonce and Jay-Z is because they are young and they are a power couple. And so is the president and his wife. But because they're younger, I think I am... Yes, I said the president. Excuse me. President Barack Obama, our former president still my president but because Jay-Z and Beyonce are younger I feel like I'm leaning towards them um but yeah between the two of them that would be the way I would go so yeah what was your first impression of me my first impression of Bianca okay so funny thing is the way me and Bianca actually met was in Real Women of YouTube and she um I had left like something saying I need topics for team talk and she's like I she dropped something she's like I left these because I'm a teen or whatever so I was like oh okay cool another teen I was like she's black that's really cool and then we started commenting on there and I was like oh come join my group and she joined my group and since then we've talked like every single day we've not gotten a day where we haven't communicated in one way or another my first impression of bianca was oh that, this is kind of cool i didn't know her so i couldn't say like oh my god i was just head over heels she was the best person i ever met no but i did know that she was very similar to me and for that reason i was like we're going to connect and i had a feeling like oh we might actually end up being becoming friends and boom here we are Alright, her last question. Oh my god. Y'all, her last question. I was like, really, Bianca? <laughs> Bianca's last question and the final question for this Q&A is... <clears throat> Would you marry Dre Shaw? Well, y'all, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. <laughs> he is, <laughs> Jay Sean is a very kind person. And from what I know, you know, like I've never met him in person. I've only seen pictures of him. I've heard him interact with other people, but I've never physically sat down um, and met him or had a phone call with him or FaceTimed. So what I would say is from what I know, yes, just from the characteristics that I've seen and experienced, but and like, I'm gonna say yes for now from what I I know. But, you know, that might change depending on how the interaction is, how the bond is. So, I'm gonna say yes, Bianca, for right now, girl. When I go to Texas, girl, I'm gonna be able to give you a definite answer, okay? Um, but like I said, yes for now from what I know. Um, got the full package right there, you know, the full, full package. 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want me to do another Q&A, let me know down below and I will do another one when I get enough questions. Shout out to all of the beauties that left those questions for me for this Q&A. Remember to go check out their social medias and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and share, share, share everywhere and I will see you guys later. The Queen is out y'all.